Hello, boxing family and fellow boxing fans. And welcome back to another prediction video. The fight I'm covering in this video, I want to dedicate to Bo Yurtz. And I thank you for this fight. In the comment section to one of my videos, I forget which one it is, Bo gave his own prediction to this fantasy fight. But I wanted to make a video on it because it's a very interesting fight because of the stylistic factors of these fighters. And the fight I'm referring to is Showtime Sean Porter versus Ricardo El Matador Mayorga. And I like this fight because both of these guys are, are high action, high impact fighters. They're both extremely aggressive fighters who pressures their opponents. They're both entertaining fighters. And so this will make for a great fight at welterweight. And so let's talk about Ricardo Mayorga. Ricardo Mayorga has mixed it up with some of the best fighters of his era. He's mixed it up with the likes of Oscar De La Hoya, Felix Tito Trinidad, Vernon Forrest, Sugar Shane Mosley, just to name a few. And he was highly competitive in all of those fights, win, lose, or draw. He was always highly competitive. Those fights were always entertaining. As far as Showtime Sean Porter, He's fought the best of his era as well. He's mixed it up with the likes of Errol the Truth Spence, Terrence Bud Crawford, Keith One Time Thurman, Swift Danny Garcia. One thing I will give Sean Porter in this era of top fighters ducking one another, Sean Porter has fought everyone. So he should go down as one of the best fighters in boxing history. I mean, what a heart Sean Porter has on him. So with that being said, Showtime Sean Porter versus Ricardo Mayorga. Who wins it? Who takes it? Who can impose their wills? They both have similar styles. I suspect that Ricardo Mayorga hits harder. You know, I think Mayorga has an overall better punch selection than Sean Porter. Meaning he can throw a jab, believe it or not. He has a decent jab. He has better hooks, better uppercuts, better straight rights. But I think the advantage for Showtime Sean Porter in, in this fight is his ability to control the distance, to close the gap, to get on the inside, to make his opponents fight his fight. And I want to address a misconception about Sean Porter that most fans have. And the misconception is that he just gets in there, in there and applies reckless pressure and that he just throws wild punches and nothing could be farther from the truth. It takes special footwork training for Sean Porter to be able to, to do what he does, to be able to get on the inside the way that he does, and to be able to make his opponents fight his fight for the most part. That may play into my Yorga's hands. That's a possibility, but just know, <clears throat> excuse me, just know that this fight is gonna take place in the phone booth. But I think that Sean Porter has the advantage if Mayorga can't get the extension on those punches. Mayorga throws his punches a little wide, which gives Sean Porter an advantage to counter him. As I've already mentioned, Mayorga hits harder than Sean Porter, I suspect. So that could be a factor if Sean Porter gets clipped. But as I've mentioned, Mayorga would need room to get extension on those punches for them to be effective. And Sean Porter has a decent chin. I'm going with Porter in this contest and Porter by decision. Those are my thoughts. Please let me know what you think. And I'll see you real soon.